Jericho, they, 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 they were walking around the wall. So you mean, om die mire van Jericho nie. Het jylle nooit uit liekie gesê nie, om die mire van Jericho. En die sevende dag het hulle sewe maal om die selle stad gestaan. En toe van die mire, do you know about that story? About Jericho. And on, uh, the, 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 the people from the uh, Lord, they were walking around uh, the city, and there were giants in the city. And they were just walking. They did nothing. They were just walking. And on the seventh day, every day for seven days. And on the seventh day, they were walking seven times about around that city. Amen. And you know what happened? The walls fell. The walls fell over. And they rejoiced. They made a joyful noise unto the Lord. They shouted. And they, and they were triumphant because they were rejoicing. You understand that? Okay, good. Ek wil my die boodskap recht oordra, so wat jylle verstaan, en ek, I don't want you to miss out. Verstaan jylle Afrikaans daar? Verstaan jy, so bykie? Ken jy nie die mire van jylle goeie? Ga wat jou maai jy mooi verduidelik, wat hy die mire is toe die raad. Ja, ons sal het ook. Hy sê, and the second verse, he says, I will joy in the God of my salvation. Now the word joy means to shout. Have you watched soccer before? Rugby? Have you watched sport? Do you like any sport? What sport do you like? Netball. So if you stand next to the netball field uh, and uh, one team is, 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 is winning your team, what are you doing? when they win. What do you do when they win? When the team wins, when your team wins, what do you do? Or they score a goal, what do you do? Hello? Hello? Is she okay? What are you doing? She didn't have a place to come for me. And what happens when your team wins? You make a noise. You shout. And you see the people in the soccer when they score a goal. Or when so what do they do? They get up, they shout, they jump. Yeah. But when we are in church, we are very, you know, we are we, we have to look very nice. When we have problems, we keep our problems to ourselves. You know, we don't tell anybody. Yeah. And here the, the Lord teaches us something. Uh, the prophet Habakkuk. I don't know, who speaks him in English? Hey, Habakkuk. Habakkuk, Habakkuk. He says, although nothing will happen, that is good. I'll solve the fire on the body. I'll solve the 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 fear to it come. No, then shall it. He will. No, then shall it get. He learns us something. He learns us something. As it's slecht gaan, is it time to die bal. Amen. Hoor mooi. As it's slecht gaan. Is het tijd om te hebben? Zeg ik je halleluja? Kan je halleluja zeggen? Halleluja! Zeg, halleluja! Nee, 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 luister mooi, luister mooi. Je moet, je moet helemaal mooi luisteren. Je moet zeggen halleluja, like your team is winning. Halleluja! Halleluja! Amen. David het gevra, hy skryf in Psalm 101 en toe hy sê, ek kyk ook na die berke waar sal my hulp vandaan kom. Hy vra, hy is moedeloos. David is in trouble, he is asking, where will my help come from? I'm looking up to this mountains, where is my help coming? But he knew his help comes from the Lord. God told us a secret in John 14. Now I'm not going to read all the scriptures in English, but will you forgive me? I want to read you something small. I want to read you a, 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 a secret today. In John 14 verse 26 he says, Maar die trooste, die heilige 
is wat die vader in my naam sal geef. Hy sê, jylle alles leer, en jylle herinner aan alles wat ek gesê het. Vrede laat ek vir jylle na. My vrede gee ek aan jylle, nie soos die wereld gee nie. Ek gee jylle nie, gee ek aan jylle nie. Laat jylle harte nie ontstel, of bang wees nie. Wow, nou gee die Heere vir ons die Heilige Geest, ja Elnata, die Heere gee vir ons die Heilige Geest, so dat ons vrede kan hee, so dat dit met ons goed kan gaan. But we forget, you remember what I said to you this morning, when we were here, we feel the Holy Spirit, we don't see it. We feel it. Now sometimes you don't feel it. What do you do when you are in your room, and you are alone, and you don't feel it? Jesus says in, 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 uh, openbare, I say in openbare 3 vers 20, ek sta by die deur en klop. I knock, Jesus says I'm knocking. He will never just go in. He will never just, he's a gentleman, oh die jyre, baie mooi maniere hoor. Hy is God van maniere. Hy leer ons ook maniere hoor. Hy staan, hy sê ek staan, by die deur en klop. Wie vir my ook maak, ek sal ingaan. Nou, jou vriende, verlaat jou as een slecht gaan. Jou vriends lief jou, when it goes bad, when your money is up. Are you still in school? Ja. You will find out very quickly, after school, when your first paycheck comes, you will have a lot of friends. When your first paycheck comes, am I right, Mr. Gardinas? You will have a lot of friends. Can we not there? Uh, can we not go to the dead to the cactus? Can we not have coffee or ice cream or waffle? Can we not just yes, people will come? And then one day you will realize when you lose your job, when you geld verloor, when you nie meer nie, then there's nobody. They say a friend in need is a friend indeed. Amen. Maar die Heere leer ons wat maak ons as het zwaar gaan. Ek onthou, ek onthou, een skrif, waar die Heere baie mooi gegeet, in handelinge 1 vers 8, mevrouw Garina, sal jy vir ons handelinge 1 vers 8 lees, Acts chapter 1 vers 8, waar in psalm is jy nou, psalm 68, want ons gaan psalm 68 ook lees, nou nou hoor, Ek sien ons is nie selig gees, prijs die Heere daarvoor. Sê jy nie amen nie? Amen. Handelinge 1 vers 8, I want you to read it in English for us. 1 vers 8, sê, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Amen. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the world. Amen, prijs die Lord. What is the key here? He says, if you receive the Holy Spirit, Jy wil receive power, jy sal kracht ontvang, as die geest van die Heere wat jou kom. Ek kan onthou nie van die 2007. Toe was ek jong man, in een sondige toestand. As gevolg van die kinders gaan ek nie uitbrei oor my sondige toestand nie. Maar weet jylle wat ek het gerook? I used to smoke. Baie, klomse gerette. In 2007 sit ek daar in een vertrekkie, in my kamer, en ek luister na die geithers, wat hier die muziek maak, hulle sing so lekker van die jyre, woehoe, hy en hy een man sing, I saw the light, no more darkness, wow, en ek dink aan myself, but I am currently in darkness, ek is in een probleem, ek het my werk verloor, ek het my vrou beklein, ons is bezig om ons huis te verloor, en ek wil jylle iets vertel, ek het die huis verloor daar nou hoor, maar ek het in die toestand opgestaan en ek het die Heere aangegryp en ek het begin die Heere loof saam met die mense wat daar sing en weet jy wat gebeur toe ek saam met die mense een koorkie of twee sing toe begin my gemoed verander en hoe meer ek sing, hoe meer begin my gemoed verander en hoe meer ek sing, besef ek maar hier die mense het nie ook probleme nie hulle het probleme they have got crises, these people as well and I sing with them and the Holy Spirit came and the Holy Spirit anointed me in that room. You know what was the first thing to go? Was the cigarettes. I remember I had, I had 30 cigarettes like that. In today's money, 
Wat is op bestand 30 sal nou oor 100 rand wees. So jy praat van 1000 rand op bestand. I took two, two and a half of those big packets of cigarettes and I just gave it away to the people that worked on the site. If I knew what I knew today, I would have burned it. Just there. I would not even give it away. Mm. <coughs> but I stood up out of my sackcloth and ash. I get up and stand and I get up and stand. I get up and stand and I get up and stand and I say, He took me out of the mighty clay. He put my feet on the rock to stay. He put a song in my heart today. Mm. A song of praise. Hallelujah. Do you know that song? Oh, that is a wonderful song. It is written, uh, one of the prophets written it. We've got another version of the same song. Yes, yes. King's Highway. He planted my feet on the King's Highway. And this is the reason I sing and I shout. Yeah. 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 I fuck me in the modern slake. Dis so kom ek skreeuw, dis so kom ek raas, dis so kom ek jyg, ja, jou paas een punt van predikant. Prijs die jylle. Want ek jaag en ek skreeuw, en die duivels vlug. Do you know if you clap your hands, what happens? The devils don't like clapping of hands. Klap jou handen, jou handen, dan klap jou handen, prijs die jylle. Kom ons maak die naam van die jylle groot. Staan recht op, kom ons maak die naam van die jylle groot. Just say, praise the Lord. Just say, thank you Jesus, clap your hands. Say, thank you Jesus, hallelujah. In 2009, my wife and I went out into the ministry field for the first time. And I went to the Lord and I said, Lord, I cannot go out into the ministry field if I don't have something to make music. And where I go, I can't take an electric piano. I can't take a big piano. I cannot take a lot of things, but what I need is I need piano that I can play with out the tower. Mm. I need a piano accordion. Can you let track off here? Yeah. And uh, I went to see a guy um, and he said, did you come right with instruments? Thank you. And my wife and I, the Lord called us on February and we had to leave the 1st of April. So there wasn't time to adjust. I, I had lost everything in 2007. I was broke. I had no money to pay even for, but I, but I trusted the Lord. No, no, no. I don't have a car. Mm. And one day I will tell you about all in our faith ministry. I will one day preach about faith. And I want to tell you about that. But I first want to tell you about the music that we made for the Lord. And I took uh, that piano accordion. Mm. I went to a friend of mine and I said, uh, I, I need a piano accordion. And he came to me and he took 600 rand out of his wallet. And he gave me and he said, go see this man, he's moving to Australia. Maybe he will give you the piano accordion for $600. I said, do you know what they cost? I mean, at that stage, they cost about 8,000 bucks. You cannot buy something for 600 bucks with something worth the value of 8,000 bucks. And you know what happened? I can up your at mama, what? Hy kom as het in kerk kyk, hy wil dit, hy hou nie van een geraas as hy slaap hee. And the Lord helped us. I went to this man, I will never forget his name, Jack. He moved to Australia. And there was an old parrot piano accordion there. And I don't know the brand name. And I said, can I test it? I knew I didn't have the money, but I went to see him. Because I saw him in faith. I knew that if I get in trouble in the field working for the Lord, I can play myself out of trouble in the, uh, with a piano accordion. I know for a fact that God is a God that gives you the opportunity to make a no joyful noise unto Him and He will take you out of trouble. I promise amen. you that. <coughs> Thank you for saying amen, my sister. Amen. Sounds like you, have, you, you, you know how the hallelujahs have to ring. <laughs> I went to Jack and I tested this piano accordion and I said, brilliant, it's very nice. What do you want for it? They said 8,000 bucks. 
I said, or nearest offer. I said, I'm not going to insult you with the offer. Praise the Lord. This is the story. Uh, may God bless you. And I left. And as I uh, went into the door, he says, Pastor, come back. I want to talk to you. <laughs> I said, uh, I'm not a pastor yet. I'm just uh, evangelizing. He says, come to me. What do you want to offer for the piano uh, accordion? I said, sir, I'm going to work for the Lord. And uh, a man sent me your number this morning. And he said, he's contributing towards my piano accordion fund, which was zero. And he put 600 in my hand. If you will take the 600, I will take the piano accordion. Amen. He says, please take the piano accordion before I change my mind. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. down there you don't say thank you Lord it's not yours but if the Lord gives you there is loose money lying down there I remember Tani Liani Skuri many years ago she 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 testified she was asking for 50 bucks to for the Lord she said to the Lord can I have some money I don't have ice cream I'm so in the mood to take my kids for an ice cream and she was she was a runner and she was running there in Valcom and uh, she testified it on the Sunday morning. And she was running and there was a 50, 50 bucks under a piece of stone, flapping in the wind. Wow. And she picked it up and she was looking. I Nobody know. was around. She took the 50 bucks and put it in her pocket. She says, praise the Lord, now I can buy bread and milk. The Lord said, hi, you promised the kids you're going to get, you want some ice cream. My God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory. Not by saying the hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. I remember, you will understand why I have this fascination about piano accordions. Ons het met de treklavier. My sister, het ons met de treklavier gegaan. Dan was by die Indiërs kerk gauw. Do you know the Indians? We don't know, we don't have Indians in Namibia. But the Indians have Buddha. And they have Islamitic religions. But our biggest problem in Durban was Chatsworth. Chatsworth, and uh, there was another place, uh, 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 Lordium, uh, uh, not Lordium, Chatsworth, um, and Phoenix. They were show of the devil worshippers. Because what is it if, if you worship Buddha? Buddha is from the devil, man. And they were all, they will take you into a room and they, they have a whole prayer room. We as Christians, we can't even pray in our own room. But they built a prayer room. Full of these Buddha, and they pray to these Buddha. Different gods. Yes, different gods and things. Six hundred and ninety-two. Yes, and you know, you know what? My father used to after Sunday morning service, when the Holy Ghost was in us, and we had a wonderful service. You would say, "Penny, fat your master, drag the fire, come." En ons het die, ons het gaan die evangelisatie werk doen in een dubbel graads. Niks groter is hier nie. So schrik jy soos hierdie, het ek in my pa gaan kerk hou, dis nie Indiërs. And the Holy Spirit anointed us, because we made the name of the Lord, we glorify His name. Ons het die Heerens naam groot gemaakt, met een trek op vierkie, en ek sien die mevrouw Annie naast, sy sy pangster, sy klap handen soos pangster, dubbel tyd, ons klap nie so handen nie. Dit was handen so tussen die handen klap hier, sy geel meer kans, die prijs die Heere. En so het die Heere vir ons gehelp, in 1 Samuel 16, gebruik die David die voorbeeld, David kom die koning sal roep om, hy sê my hart is net toestaan you remember King Saul do you know King Saul in the Bible King Saul was a big king in the Bible, you must teach him a bit about King Saul as well in the Sunday school King Saul was in the Bible you know what he did we must start the Sunday school here so that we can give the kids something to teach them about all the stories in the Bible and you know what happened King Saul got upset. The devil was busy with him. And he would get upset and cross. And then he would call David. He said, David, come play. Come speel op die sitter vir my. And you know, David was anointed from the Lord. David walked up to the bear and up to the lion. And he killed the bear, he killed the lion. He couldn't worry because he knew who the God was. He killed the lion, you know now. Amen. But he played the sitter in Saul's heart. It was dark. Saul's heart was bitter, ongelukkig. And as David so speer, 
Dan val die salving vir die Heere. En dan wil Saul ons om met die spies doodgooi. Hoekom? Elisa. Elisa, kom in 2 Konings, uh, Konings 3. Het jy al die skrif gelees waar Elisa in 2 Konings 3 kom, uh, by die koning, die koning sê, is hier nie een profeet nie. Hulle sê, ja, daar is Elisa, die sien van Josef, Josef had, hy sê vir hulle, um, koning, as ek nie jou pa geken het nie, het ek nie nou met jou gepraat nie. Hy is baie adamant, Elisa is opzet met die koning. 2 Konings 3, jy kan het gaan lees. Hy sê op een stadium, maar bring vir my een sieterspeler, dat ek kan profiteer. Ha? Is dit nie mooi nie? Hy sê, bring vir my iemand wat my siek kan maak. Dat die salving val. En toe hy die snare speel, toe val die salving van die Heere. En hy begin profiteer. Evangelist en recht door die wereld, en ek gaan praat sommer recht uit oor, jy kies maar die wedekevel vir ons nieuw charismatic movement. Be very careful. I want to teach you today. Huh? Can I teach you one thing? Be careful of the word charismatic. The word charismatic means to charm. Do you hear what I'm saying? Charm. Charm means to impress you with how good I do things. With what the beautiful light is, I can show you. What the world has to offer. That is what charismatic means. No problem with me if you will. The charismatic movement have missed one thing. They have missed that the Holy Spirit is not an emotional response. Listen carefully. The charismatic movement charms the people into church. But it's not an emotional response. The Holy Spirit does not respond to emotion. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. The charismatic movement say, oh, my friend is giving his heart to the Lord, so you must, and, and then you feel pressured under the group, and then you start serving the Lord under pressure of your friends. If your friends fall into the fire, then you will fall with it. But if the Holy Spirit turns you around, if you look at specifically, we are not going to name one of the uh, evangelists, but if you look at the evangelist that uh, preach a, a message of hope and a message of the cross, and when they get to a certain point, the charismatic people make a noise. Did you hear that? They will they will play on the piano. And they will try to move you with, with melody. You know what the what the evangelist does? The evangelist. We don't worry about the kids. We love the kids in the church. Don't worry. When we hear kids, we know there's growth. So I have, not because of my father, all the years. I've had kids in the church and I'm the first one to say let the kids stay in the church because they must hear the word of God Amen. since from born. Amen. Do you know what the evangelist does? Weet jy wat die evangeliste? Godlike evangeliste wat van die Heer die boodskap van hoop af jy kan maar gaan luister they start singing the word of God. He teaches us listen carefully he teaches us that the word of the Lord is the sword. Yes, in Ephesians 6 he says, faith is the shield and the word of God is the sword. When you are praying to people, they will sing, more, most of them will sing the song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Feel the presence of the Lord. The meaning of that word says praise to Yah, which is Yahweh, the God omnipotent, almachtige God. Ons geef prijs aan die Heere as ons daai liedjie sing. Wat jy nou nou terecht nog gekyk het, 
Psalm 68, sê in vers 5, Sing tot eer van God, Psalm sing tot eer van zijn naam, Vul die pad op vir hom, Wat dier die woestijnvlakte is by, Heer is sy naam, En jubel in sy aangezicht, Wow, weer het, sê soos Habakkuk, Jubel, wat sê hy, Jubel is om te triomfeer, Om een oorwinning te wees, Sing Alleluia tot die deur kom, Ek onthou die kuifers het die jare terug gesing, I have many tears and sorrows, I have questions for tomorrows, There were times I did not right from wrong, But in every situation, God gave blessed consolation, And my trials came to only make me strong. Dan sê die koorkie, Through it all, I say through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus, I've learned to trust in God, through it all, through it all, I have learned to depend upon His word. Amen. Amen. Say it, Amen, for you. Say it, Hallelujah, for you. Say Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Halleluja! Even in prayer, as ons klaar gebid het, Jesus leer ons om Matthäus om te bid. En jy kan maar gaan kyk in die nieuwe vertaling, het het weggevat. In die 1983 vertaling is het nie meer nie. Hulle sê net in Leijons, Leijons nie in versoeking nie, maar verlos ons van boze, Amen. Maar die ouwe vertaling hier is nog, en lei ons nie in versoeking nie, maar verlos ons van die bose, en hier kom die groot geheimenis, aan u al die lof, aan u al die eer, en, wat sê hy, ek raak so gewoon, ek voel kut nie verkeerd, hy sê, want aan u moet die koninkruid, en die kracht, en die heerlijkheid, tot in die eeuwigheid, wat is Godse heerlijkheid, in, 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 Romeine 3 vers 3, waar sê hy, ons allemaal het gesondig, en dit ontbreek ons aan die heerlijkheid. Godse heerlijkheid, dit behoort aan hom, hy geer het vir wie hy wil. Maar, as ons bid, leren ons, hy sê, as jylle bid, dan bid jylle, aan u al die eer, die, 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 die koninkrijk, en aan u, die heerlijkheid, dit behoort aan God, hy geer het vir wie hy wil. En samenvatten, kom ons kom terug en kyk, As jy probleem het, gaan jy ook om probleem het na vandag. Are you gonna stop having problems today? You're gonna still have a problem. Did you come here with problems this morning? I have problems, I came here with problems. I can tell you a lot of problems, I can get you very depressed. But after singing, after this church, I'm telling you, I feel, I feel enriched. Ek voel verkwak, as jy was die Afrikaanse woord, verkwak, ne? Ek voel opge, opgewek. Ek voel die Heer het my aangeraak. En ek wil vir julle vertel, 10 uur 9 vir oogend, en sê het vir my vrou, jong, kom ons wacht tot 20 uur, want ek dink, ons gaan die kerk toe maak. Ek was in die toestaat, toe ons hier begin het. Maar prijs die Heer, het hy ons nie aangeraak vir my rug. Voel julle nie aangeraak nie. Onthoud dit, as jy in jou binnenkamer is, jy kan net in jou binnenkamer vecht, aan God gee ons die laaste eer, aan God gee ons al die eerlijkheid. Maar as ons in die krisis gedompel is, wat doen ons? Ga naar die Heere toe, dan sê ons vir die Heere, Heere, ek is in een beswaardie, I have financial problems, I have marital problems, I have spiritual problems, the devil is taking me into problems. But you know what, the problems might not disappear because God might be busy working something for you. You know that. So your problems might not disappear, but God will strengthen you. Want remember the scripture in Acts 1 verse 8, jy is een kracht ontvang, as die heilige geest oor jou kom, where is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is where you go into your room, and you just sing that song, Alleluia, Alleluia, Amen, Do you have a tool that you can take with this week? Something that you can fight with? We are going to fight with the Hallelujahs this week. We are going to take the hallelujahs into our inner room. And listen, I'm not saying 
I'll sing the song, I raise hallelujah, and my weapon is a melody. There's no, there's no weapon in the melody. The, me, the, the weapon is in scripture. Do you hear me? The weapon is in scripture. You can open the scripture. You know what is very powerful? You just open the scripture. You just walk with the scripture. You say, Lord, I'm just here to sing. I can't even sing, but I, I'm here to sing. And I'm just here. I have the word of the Lord open. You just walk and you sing, Hallelujah. 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 Use the scripture to sing to the Lord. This is His Word. God is the Word. We eat from God. We eat from the Word. Amen. Enough preaching for the day. Are you going to close for us? Mevrouw Garina, can you us off with the gebed for the day? I am so glad you have been up You have my verkoop. You have sang with me to sing. And I am so glad you have sang with me. Now we have our verkoop. And we have our verkoop. And we have the Word of the Lord. And the power of His gedeenis. Amen. Praise the Heere, kom ons sluit af. Heere, ons weet dat dit onverdiende genade is. Ons weet, Heere, dat dit dier die liefde alleen is. Daarom wil ons van morgen, Heere, koningin naam. Amen, praise the Heere. Ons lee ons harte neer. Ons wil dat u op ons haarskam is opgeskrywe word, Heere. Wat oor al, Heere, koning, as trekkelblok in ons levens is, Vader, om los ons in die hande. Wat ons weet, my God, dat ons en jou van u alleen afkom. En dat u vir die woord raads, man. Dan u, Heere, vir die pastoor wat u gebruik, vir die huis wat dan u ons opgekom het, Heere. Heere, ek bid ook vir sieninge vir die huis. Dan wil ek dank u sê, Heere, vir die week, vir die week wat voorlee. Ons bid dat u voor u sal trek, Heere, die week ook. Ons het baie verskillende plekke om te wees, Heere. Daar is werk, Heere, die sê, daar is baie wat gerei moet word. Ons wil net op nie vraag, dat u voor u sal trek. Net soos u, die is die sal nie voor u sal trek. Dank u Heer vir die liefdeke diens, dank u vir die heilige geest, dank u vir die aanraking. Sien ons nog in Jesus hands. Amen. Amen, did you enjoy it?